All right. So I hope that's not uh, confusing you. If you want, I can. I think it's going to go on a screen server anyways, so it won't be in your face. Okay. So you were telling me about your friend Salim in high school. He brought the concept of God to you, right? Yeah. And before that, you know, you having seen uh, uh, miracles in the church, yeah. which you did not believe in the healing, yeah. the miracles. You thought yeah. people are faking, and you thought every religion is a fake, right? Uh -huh, that's what I thought. Okay. So Salim, what what was different about what Salim presented so, to you? When Salim came and I thought he was going to be like those type of people as well. Right. Like they'll be like, oh, just believe or something like that, have yeah. faith, right? And then, but like, what shocked me was when he was speaking to me and answering my question, it all seemed like logical. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't just believing it, right? Okay. So, so yeah, from that point on, I was like, hooked. Oh, like I wanted to know more. So I did research myself and when I had questions, I would ask him. And he would tell me, and it would it would always be so like logical the answers, right? It wasn't just like made up or anything. And like over time, like I st slowly started to learn and learn and learn, and like I I became convinced of it, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's basically it. Like, okay, great. So now you realize that there's one God, yeah, right, who is totally separate from the creation, mm -hmm. right? He doesn't have a son or a daughter, right? And he's totally in charge and in control. Of the creation, yep. right? And he sees everything. Yeah, he hears everything. He sees and he knows everything, right? And he's able to do everything, right? Okay. And then, why do we exist here? Like, where are we heading to? Or, so from the Quran, that's what I know. Like, uh, we were created to worship him. That's our purpose in life. Okay. Yeah. So. And and we're going to, like, once we die, we go to heaven or hell. Okay. Great. Yeah. So basically. Uh, there, there are free will and there are choices, yeah. right? And those choices have consequences, mm -hmm. right? So when you say worship, which means, what does worship mean to you? Yeah. So <laughs> before worship, before like I thought it was like you know when you in the church they would sing and like this and that, right? You know like dance and stuff like right. that. But like worship, what I came to find out was like it's basically following what God wants us to do. Great, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right, so basically using our free will to yeah. direct it in ways yeah. that are pleasing to God, mm -hmm. right? That are advised by God or commanded by God. Yeah. Perfect. That's 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 a very good understanding, man. I mean, so usually I ask this question after Shahada, like so people who are who come to Islam from their friends or other people that I haven't met, you know, that's why I ask the question to understand, yeah. you know, where you stand, right? Yeah. What's your understanding? And to be honest, like this is much, much better than you know what I see with many people. So your friend Salim, I think he took that time to let you understand things and did not rush things through so that yeah. you have a much better understanding than most people. Man. Mm -hmm. So that, that's amazing. Great. May Allah bless you and keep you steadfast. Okay, great. So basically, now, now that thing is there, now that awareness is there, right? So the first thing that I advise people um, is that to be obviously thankful for that gift, mm -hmm. right? Because out of the millions and billions of people, Right. Yeah. Many people are still, you know, living the life that you were living a month or two ago, right? Yeah. Which is unaware. This is what it is. You know, this world is what it is. You know, I'm only gonna live once and only do things that would make me happy, that would give me the pleasure, that would, you know, satisfy my body, my skins, my bones, and make me feel good. That's it. That was the main criteria. Now the question is, hey, what does God want me to do in this thing, in this situation, right? Because that would be uh, my success in this world as well as my success in that hereafter yeah great so the so first thing is when, when you are grateful for that and you're thankful you're really really thankful for that, that God actually you know accepted that from you and you know or gave you that opportunity to accept the faith right he facilitated it for you right because many people's their hearts are locked and they, they see the truth and they don't realize it yeah right so you having that ability to recognize it is, is a great blessing from God so once you do that I think and the second thing becomes, obviously, in anything that you are facing, even if it's harder for you to do what God wants you to do, just because, you know, you have a different background, different culture, different habits, right? So you always ask God a lot to help you, just like he helped you accept the religion, yeah. right? Because many people, even if they understand that religion is true, Islam is true, they don't have the courage to accept it because, you know, they're concerned about their family members, their friends, yeah. their social circle, what have you. Right? So just like he gave you that courage, he will give you the courage to do the action that are pleasing to him. Mm -hmm. So after those two things, the third thing then becomes is, is to is to be is to keep this in your focus. 
right? Yeah. What I mean by that is when you go out from here, there are people trying to sell you products and services, right? People trying to attract you to buy some things or buy some of your services or vacations or gadgets or go to a school or what have you. And not everything is bad, obviously, but the point is that people have agenda, they have products, they have services, they have things that they want to offer you, right? Most people, all right, unlike Celine, your friend, would not come and say, hey, Jason, what do you think about afterlife? What do you think about God? Mm -hmm. Most people would not do that, as we already know, yeah. right? So now, it's something that you have to be consciously aware of and provide yourself the opportunity to be reminded about those things, right? And that comes from a variety of things, right? One is, such as you taking the time to come here to discuss about, hey, what's next? You know, how do I learn more about God? How do I practice, right? Yeah. The second thing is, you know, keeping good company. Right? So if you're hanging out with Salim, hopefully he's going to remind you of prayers, or you're going to remind Salim of prayers. Right? If you're hanging out with somebody else, you know, then you have to you know, be reminded yourself, or using your phone, or what have you. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's something to uh, keep in mind. Um, the third thing then becomes is basically you know, having a daily routine. Right? So it could be you, know, you coming once a day to masjid, or a few times a week in the masjid, or even once a week, whatever you can start with. Right? Uh, it's sort of like if you want to take the example of somebody, you know, trying to change their, you know, health routine, right? Somebody who's like really fat or really not taking care of their health, right? And say, you know what? That's it. I want to have a better life, so I'm going to take care of my body, right? So they have to surround themselves by people who are not eating at McDonald's all the time, right? Who are eating healthy, they're reading healthy things, they're listening to things that will remind them of the importance of health and how they can be healthy. You're going to try to put in some changes around their diet and what have you. Similarly, you need to take care of your soul, right? Because body is body, right? We are essentially two components, body and soul, right? Mm -hmm. So body would be weak, strong, and then weak again, right? Yeah. But soul is what remains and what moves on to the hereafter, mm -hmm. right? It's given a new body in the hereafter, but essentially you still have that soul, right? So, so essentially this is basically the concept, right? So, so the idea of this conversation is basically to help you, you know, to make, basically for us to mutually discuss a plan for yourself so that we have some sort of plan that works for you. Because everybody is going to move at a different pace, yeah. right? So you and I can discuss that, hey, I'm going to come to one class a week or two class a week. I'm going to do this thing online. You know, we'll be in touch with WhatsApp every day or every other day at the end of the week. So this is some of the things that we're going to discuss uh, moving forward. So I'm going to pause the recording here and then you can go on and get into all these extra details, you know, later on. And also, you know, some of the things we're going to do is put in some apps on your phone. Yeah. So, you know, you know, that will help you practice prayers. It will help you remind the time of prayers. Uh, we'll show you how to read Quran, how to, you know, some channels that you can subscribe to, right? Yeah. YouTube or Instagram, what have you, that would remind you of God. So that's great, man. Um, I'm going to pause the video and then we're going to talk about it.